Okay, guys, I'm really excited about this. Wife, she's kind of easing up, though. I don't know. Anyway, I'm super excited about this. This is part of the master plan. Okay, everything is really dirty, it needs to be washed, but there it is. Got our fast, go fast, go anywhere rig, four wheel drive, pop up camper, good for weekend travel. And this is going to be our uh, long-term travel stay in several weeks and um, I'm gonna turn this into a small travel trailer been looking for this size and I finally ran across it for the right price got a blank slate to start with here and it's in good shape need some tires and I want to keep it light But it's uh, it's the uh, perfect blank slate to start with to uh, build a uh, little tiny travel trailer. It's uh, eight and a half by sixteen. Um, they used it as a uh, to haul a race uh, truck in. I've been looking for this size for a long time. I was thinking thinking I wanted an eight and a half by twenty, but um, eight and a half by sixteen is perfect. I don't think I need much more space than that because it would have weighed a lot more. But um, this is it. Tell me what you guys think of this setup. Love to hear your ideas and uh, you know if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea. I showed it to my wife and she was like, "Yeah, but now you need a you need a more streamlined truck." <laughs> she does not like my truck. She never likes my truck though, but that's okay. I like my truck. All right, plenty of more videos to come on this. And uh, plenty of videos left for this because I've got to get this configured. We're going to use this uh, probably to haul our bikes around and stuff like that. So get it all ship shape lock, locked up and uh, give all this stuff a bath so it looks a little bit better. I'm excited though, man. I haven't been more excited since I built the box camper than this setup right here. I think this is it. This is, you know, I did all the jockeying with the trucks and uh, the campers and all this kind of stuff, but I think this is it. I think this is the best setup for us right now as a, as a family. This is nice and low, easy to get in and get out. I mean, it's like the perfect setup. It's in good shape too. I mean, it's, it's used, of course, but uh, I didn't pay, you know, what a new one is for this either. Of course, I'm gonna have to put some insulation here. It's got a metal roof on it. Make sure I need to coat that roof probably too. But um, yeah, this this is going to be awesome. Okay, so here's the plan for the sliding air conditioning and um, drawer slides. I'll mount them right here. Them slide out that way. Hopefully, this will work out. Um, like most of my stuff, it's an experiment, so. You know, just learn from my experience whether it works or not. And I've had a video out about air conditioning. I had uh, some viewer complain, hey, you messed up. And it didn't come out as well as I'd like. And I did express that in one of my videos. But evidently, he didn't watch all my videos. And then complained that uh, he followed what I did and ruined his project. So, anyway. The thing is, I took the videos down so nobody else, you know, has that complaint. But... This is a vlog just about what I'm, you know, working on. So, you know, take it for what it is. Hopefully you can learn something from it, my mistakes, or, you know, whether I'm successful or something. But it's not an instructional video. I do appreciate everybody watching, though. I mean, and just seeing what's going on. I, I, I think it's like, a, you know, kind of like entertainment. was originally in the camper. Ooh, that was a tight fit. I think that might work. Yep, I think that'll work.
There we go. Fits right in there. Now what I might do is mount this lower, like below where the pads are holding on right there, so that it's not elevated as much. I'm gonna see how it fits first, and then I'll decide. Whoa, extra clearance. Man, that was so close. Look how close that was. Not much. That's aluminum right there, so I'm not gonna be able to cut through it. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, well, I could cut those feet down in there. Feet need to be there though. Just gonna, if I go below those brackets, I'm gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna figure out how to do that. Okay, what I did was created a slant so that it will ramp down and uh, it'll slide out that way, which I need a little slight tilt to it anyway to drain off the uh, the water, this condensation. So I think this idea is going to work out pretty well. It's not the top of the line. I got this, uh, what model? The one that just does the basics right here. Smoke four speed manual. Doesn't come with a remote and all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna try out the uh, Max fan. See how well it works. Gonna replace that. Ha! Huh. The wiring's already there, that's awesome. Definitely had a leak, it looks like. Self-leveling sealant, this is not the best roof in the world. I guess most of them are like this though. I'm going to loosen up all these screws, tighten them back down, and then go back around them with Dicor. Actually, you'll go over the top of them with Dicor. I'm going to remove this vent and replace it with the Max Fan Deluxe and seal it up. So um, the way I'm gonna do this, since this is a, got aluminum spars going across and they're kinda not really made to support 180 so pounds, I'm gonna use this piece of wood to support my weight and distribute it evenly across the roof, which should be able to do that. And the cardboard is so I don't burn my butt up here because it is hot today. So yeah, I wish I could uh, show you guys most of this but I think it's gonna to be too hot up here to handle the camera I'll do some then I'm gonna to have to put the camera up I'm going to have to clean up all these uh, screws because I'm going to go back and put some sealant while I have it open on all of these. Alright, 
So I gotta go do all these and I'll get back with you. After I complete that, uh, then I'll start laying down some uh, self-leveling sealant. Hopefully this stuff is dried up enough. Looks like it's still, looks like it leveled out. When I first put it on here, it was all bubbled up like tall and I was like getting kind of worried because they said it was supposed to be self-leveling but it looks like it's uh, kind of leveled itself out so I think uh, I think we're ready for the rain to come all right it's not pretty but hopefully it'll be sealed and I will know in a few minutes Hopefully that stuff's dry enough on the top. I don't think the water's going to do anything to it. But uh, it will probably at least give me a chance to see how well I sealed it up. Hopefully get a good uh, good soaking here. I want to see how this new trailer does too. Check it out for leaks. Before I start insulating it, I want to see what it looks like. I want to turn this into, uh, you know, an RV, a travel trailer for my wife. Um, you know, it's low slung, easy to get in and out. I think it'll be super comfortable when once it gets set up. It's like got all the all the space to work with. Um, it's about as wide as you can get. Put it on, you know, the width is as wide as you can, and it'll fit in one parking spot. So I think it's like perfect size trailer for us. Um, Hopefully, you know, like keep the budget. I mean, if I put like 10 grand in that, I think it'd have a super nice trailer. And if you go out and buy a like an Airstream, you can't get a decent Airstream um, under $10,000. I mean, most of them you're going to be in the $20,000, $30,000 range to get something that you're still going to have to do work to. And it's not going to be like brand new or anything. Where if I put that kind of money into this right here, everything would be brand new. And it'll be exactly the way we want. So that's the plan anyway. Um, you know, you never know how these things are going to work out. I still have the boat back here. I know a lot of you came to the channel um, when I started working on the boat. And that was my plan for the boat. So basically I'm compromising right now. Um, putting the boat on hold. I don't want to get rid of it. It's not being hurt back there. It's all aluminum. And uh, as long as... I keep uh, keep the rust off it, and I need to put a cover on it. Probably keep all the the leaves from falling in it. But um, I'm gonna hang on to it for a while and see what happens with that. But these two um, these two campers are gonna get all my effort right now. Uh, the pop up camper and the uh, I guess it's a cargo conversion you could call it. Taking that AC off the roof up there, it's way too heavy for that roof. It's, it's not the best built um, trailer. I think, you know, the best built is probably like a feather light or I think it's a sundowner, like horse trailer or something like that. Um, this one's made by, I think it's Pace. But, um, you know, it's sealed up good. It's, uh, it didn't break the bank and I can, uh, I can, I think I can do a lot with it. So, um, just stay tuned. Um, nothing's ever, you know, definite, but Right now, this is my best idea. This is kind of a, the whole channel is about an evolution of making our camping experience and our our future plans for a vehicle to get on the road, uh, both short term and long term um, work out. So I think this is the best compromise I've come up with so far. Um, so I'm gonna finish that one. We're gonna camp in it. And then I'll start work on this one. That's the plan right now, so. You know how things change, and it's usually for the better. I think this is uh, this is better for us long term than the box camper was. The box camper was cool and everything, and this would have been better for our family setup, I think. And actually, the um, the little overland camper over there, the pop up four wheel pop up camper, the dimensions of the interior are the same as the box camper, but I've gained four wheel drive, and I can safely transport six people. So that's the main reason I made that change. Um, it's basically got the same engine as the uh, the box camper had in it. So I don't know. 
just stay tuned and see how things work out. But I'm going to continue working on this and making progress, hopefully. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it. Don't buy it.